La mayoría de los americanos nos preguntan de dónde eres, de dónde vienes, a cuánta familia tienes, cómo te llamas, cómo pasaste la frontera. La mayoría de todos esas son sus preguntas. Myth number one: If you work hard in America, you can move up in the socioeconomic ladder, you can become successful, you kind of live the American dream. For the great majority of people that have worked on the land in the U.S., that has not been the case. Ask questions organically out of the situation. I mean, you just want the person to talk. The paradox is that they're so out there, invisible. If you're on Cesar Chavez, you're out invisible. But at the same time that you're putting yourself out there looking for scarce jobs, you're also trying not to bring too much visibility to you. It's not only a paradox, it's an impossibility. And it's an impossibility that wears very hard upon migrant consciousness. Over there we have the summer lunch program. Uh, we do this every year. We do South County and North County Santa Cruz. So La Manzana is one of the major uh, distributors of summer lunches in uh, Santa Cruz County. People come here just from crossing the border and they come working in the fields. Many of them don't make it. What are the social implications of this great success of world trade, right? What happens when you basically have finished building all this apparatus? What is left in terms of jobs and opportunities in terms of people? Hugo really belongs to kind of this new generation of artists that are doing very conceptually based work, very kind of politically driven. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna walk our way in there. We're basically gonna like pretty much take over the ladies there. These women are doing like a type of labor that like has in its own built its own mechanisms. It, it's it, it's just the way that the service economy keeps on expanding, you know. And like people go about generating production labor, and it's profit still on paid labor. And is their own paid labor really leisure, you know? Be his wage as high or low, labor is still alienated under a capitalist system. And the problem isn't just the fact that you have poor people on the bottom. The problem is that the whole system is designed to rob people of their, of their dignity. That frontier as it's moved its way has, you know, constantly been an, a zone of like conflict. A lot of people when they go over there, they're thinking there's different thoughts. They think that they're completely different human beings that they don't live, you know, they don't eat, they don't sleep. <laughs> yeah, man, you know, they're, they're, they're completely different. And I think that's one thing that, that this country does not want is dialogue between not only international but globally. We even calls for, for a different uh, frame of mind and, and, and art into, into this. In the arts, I think that's what connects it. That's, that's like the, the, the message. That's how you can put it out there and see it palpable and, and materialize. There was a time when the Mexican government subsidized uh, the tortilla, they subsidized the food so that the people could live on. And of course, that was taken away. Uh, while we subsidize our farmers over here, you know, under the future agreement, the agreements, Mexico can subsidize their farmers. It is really a crisis for immigrants at this point in time. This is it. This is the farm. Oh my God, dude. Can you believe that? That was our life. That was our life. It really hurts to see something that took so long to accomplish be taken away just like that. This is a struggle that's really about human rights, about having the basic need to feed your family. And the city, who has not done anything to step up for the community, it's a shame. Here's a group of farmers. They don't know what they're fighting. They're, they're like putting their hands in the middle of the biggest cogs you can imagine. ¡Cuándo! ¡Se puede! ¡Sí se 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 puede! Because of our modern pace of life, we totally, in our kind of lack of imagination, lack of poetical imagination, if you will, we've kind of lost that connection to our fellow producers, our fellow workers. Una, una clase de trabajadores en todo el mundo. So why doesn't he support workers? Why doesn't he 